These are my thunder weapons to us after we die. But science actually no, the af- Either we went but after we die, would we bev- Or we shrug off our earthly responsibilities knowing death was an end. What if? And here's what happened. Suffer life after death. It's not as you might think. The clinical wasn't even kind until eight. And in team six by Dr. Yuzhu Shu. Listen, the stop and was not beat for the patient's click dead. They determine whether it has occurred is more complicated. The heart can continue to for a week after the brain dies. This was shown by UCLA's 1998 study. These 175 bodies were still functioning one week after brain death, called beating heart cadavers. Were they able to make the final jump into the afterlife? We can't tell, sure. The system we get discovering concrete answers is by looking at near answers. According to a 2015 Gallup poll, 8 million Americans claim they've had a near-death experience. And that's just in one country. Stories across the globe describe this phenomenon happening around the time of death, either being in bright light or seeing being made of bright light. This experience is so prevalent that Bruce Dyson and Heath 1983 scale determines a person's near-death experience based on their answers to 16 questions, such as, did you feel surrounded by a brilliant light? And did you seem to other Earth world? In a four-year study of awareness during resuscitation, the study of South that 39% of cardiac survivors to have been aware surrounding before their hearts restarted. In cases, the brain's working beckons after the heart's beating. Yet, study, people in this for dream after the heart's. The service experiences included time slowing down or speeding, out of the experiences, or a peaceful feeling. Some even had distinct memories of their surroundings. These experiences make sense when you know bricked it actually sticks around the time of death. A 2010 study from the George Washington University Medical Center studied the EEGs or electroencephalograms of seven critically ill patients as they began off life support. The patients showed a spike of neural activity near death that lasted from seconds to three minutes. Are these spikes in mental activity proof of an F? Well, the short answer is no. Nurses Newberg speculate. Our parasympathetic system, sympathetic nervous system, be operate at full speed in near death experiences. These two systems rarely work side by side. And okay, it's uh, not a very, very positive topic. Uh, what, what we saw? What was this video about? Mm, video about uh, easy life after death. Oh, thank you. You are dead. First, mm -hmm. going to you. Uh, the ability of do you personally believe in a life after death? What, what's uh, your opinion? I think, yes, I believe that uh, after death we uh, can have life. Oh, interesting. Uh, I'm not sure. Personally, I'm not sure, but I'm not. Uh, say exactly that there is no life after death of course nobody knows me too mm -hmm. nobody knows but I'm somewhere in the middle uh, okay uh, second question probably you heard that um, that uh, how long uh, how long does the brain works after mm. after uh, heart stops for how long? Thirty seconds. Thank you. Thirty seconds. But researchers, исследования, uh, uh, told us that actually it's much longer. Do you remember yeah. the time he named? How is it much longer? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, from, uh, from three minutes to five yeah. minutes. From yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. not 30 seconds. Okay, and uh, a second uh, uh, interesting point. Uh, a lot of people, he said in this video that uh, it was eight million people only in America. Uh, what mm -hmm. kind of picture do all these people 
see or what did they see after death? What did they see? Do you remember? I don't do, uh, but do I uh, can suppose. Maybe. Suppose, nice, that they saw what? That they saw, for example. Good. Light. Uh, oh, yes, light, he said. So light, light, uh, a light and tunnel. Yes, tunnel. Tunnel and light. Okay, um, that's interesting. A Eight billion people said that they saw tunnel and some kind of light. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, what I can uh, say probably is that's uh, very difficult to understand that process, true or not true, who knows, but a famous uh, Russian writer Gogol uh, Gogol, Gogol, he, mm -hmm. he, he asked, uh, he asked his relatives not to bury him, uh, uh, during three days after his death. Da, da, da. And, uh, why? Why did... Because, uh, he, uh, afraid that, uh, he, um, would be buried he would be buried alive. Yes, he, he, he was afraid that he would be buried alive and, yes. uh, and uh, it's so horrible. Uh, uh, yes, it's Halloween, it's a story for Halloween, but you, mm -hmm. you open your eyes and you are inside a coffin, right? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, you are inside the coffin or oh, yes but uh, we don't have to finish our class on this dark very dark point let's mm -hmm. let's think about uh, something positive uh, let's see about sunday which is in front of you i wish you to have a good stroll or walk in the park or go somewhere with your friends enjoy your evening and uh, see you next time Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.